championships. The middle game of our triple header, the big school battle between two of the best nicknames in the state, the Flying Horses and the Royal Comets. Hello again, everyone. Welcome inside the Carry Dome. Hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend. Mark Larson alongside Dale Drypulcher. We've got Danny Leacham down on the field. This game, a matchup of uh, two differing styles, Dale. Really a strong defense for Troy against a rush Henrietta team averaging 51 points a game in the playoffs. You know, that's one of those cliches. Something's got to give. And uh, if that defense can hold rush Henrietta, credit to them because nobody else has been able to do that. So it'll be a great matchup tonight. And one guy in particular for rush in, Ashton Royal, the outstanding quarterback who threw for 300 and ran for another 100 yards in his semifinals last week. Let's take a look at the drive to the championship. Sponsored as always by Drivers Village. Visit driversvillage.com. For Rush Hen, a lot of points in the playoffs. 42 34 in the quarterfinals. 55 28 over Section 3 champ Baldwinsville in the semis last week. I was pretty familiar with Baldwinsville and I was surprised that Rush Henrietta really did a job on him. And you know, I hate to say, just like a, a triple threat, those guys are really tough. That team can do just about everything that needs to be done. Those are the Royal Comets. The Flying Horses of Troy are back in the state championship for the first time since the late 90s. A little bit tougher road to the championship game, but they had tougher teams perhaps. Monroe Woodbury in the quarterfinals and New Rochelle, one point win in the semis. Well, they say defense wins the games, the big games. If that's true, then Troy ought to be in a driver's seat. But, uh, you know, offense has to come alive too, so it'll be interesting to see just what Troy does here against Rush Henrietta. It is the Royal Comets' first ever state championship game appearance for the Flying Horses. They're looking for their third state title. And the opening kickoff is coming up now. It's across the state of New York, a guy who hadn't got a lot of attention because Rush Hen had not made it into the state tournament. But this is their first state tournament appearance, and they have taken advantage big time. One of the things that I was impressed with, I, I, Baldzo was a, a, a good team from Section 3, very solid. And boy, they just could not contain Royal at all, and whether passing or running. And he's done that all year, so it's uh, it's no fluke. And of course, that's the first thing you got to do if you're Troy. You talk about your defense, you got to control that athlete. And you know, if they can, hats off to him, nobody else has been able to do that. And it will be Rush Henrietta receiving the opening kick. That is Devin Wolford, deep to receive. There are the officials taking care of the order down on the field this afternoon. Things off the fly horses of Troy for us, section two. Rush Henrietta, section five. The Rochester area. This is Wilford. Around the left side, down at the sideline, still going. One man to be Wilford. Inside the 20, he'll score. Touchdown, Royal Comets. What a start. Devin Wilford goes 89 yards. And no flags. It's, it's disconcerting if you're Troy. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not what you want to have happen. Last man who had a chance at him was Justin Medley. Did you take another look? Look what at that wall. Rushed right there. Did a great job of getting a block, and then he moves in and out and just puts on the extra burst of speed. 89 yards. Wolford. Starts things off in 14 seconds. It's six nothing. Their first state championship game, and Devin Wolford gets them off to a tremendous start. Extra point, very nearly blocked. No it good. No good. Pushed off to the right. So it'll be a six nothing lead as Chris starts and the kicker comes up empty. Devin Wolford. That's one way to get the butterflies out, huh? Take the opening kick back. Yeah. Yep. Another squib kick. Mishandled. Collision right at the 27. I believe Troy's got it. 
But an effective kickoff by Christian Harris. It'll be Troy football for the second possession. Let's head downstairs again and check in with Danny Leitka. Hey, thanks, Mark. You're with Paul Ryan. And she's the athletic director. Vermont and Cornell. Handshakes at midfield. A valiant effort by the Flying Horses of Troy. And their first title game appearance since 1999 had all the momentum on their side. And they had Rush and Rihanna back at their own eight yard line early in the fourth quarter. But they could not stop Ashton Broyle. Updated total. Nearly 900 yards of offense. 894 is the total. So again, really a shame that one team's gonna walk out of here with no state title. They're both putting on uh, quite a performance here in the final game of the, of the football season. Well, you know, listen to, uh, unless you mean it all, everybody ends with a loss, and that's, uh, as you said, unfortunate. But uh, Troy is a terrific team, well coached. Both teams extremely well coached. Jack Berger, now two and three in the state championship game as Rush Ann takes this one, 40-28, the final score. Our post-game award ceremony here at the Carrier Dome when we come back. To 40 points or less, but in the end, Detroit Flying Horses did not have enough of them to keep up with Rush Henrietta as they win the Class AA state title 40 to 28. Time for the post game report sponsored by Onondaga Community College, Rethink College. Go to www.rethinkcollege.org. Award ceremony underway down at midfield. The Let's New York State downstairs. Football Coaches Association is proud to sponsor the following awards that are given to the outstanding defensive lineman, defensive back, offensive lineman, offensive back, and the game's most valuable player. The most outstanding defensive lineman of today's championship game from Rush Henrietta, number four, Devin Wolford. The most outstanding defensive back of today's championship game from Rush Henrietta, number 11, Tim Johnson. The most outstanding offensive lineman of today's game from Troy, number 67, Tim Ryan. The most outstanding back Offensive back of today's championship game from Troy, number 34, Jordan Kanzeri. And the most valuable player of tonight's Class AA championship game from Rush Henrietta, number five, Ashton Royal. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of New York State football, I thank you for attending today's championship football game. We appreciate your support. We offer congratulations to Troy on a great season and for making it to the Class AA State Championship game. And to the Rush Henrietta Royal Comets and their fans, congratulations on being crowned the New York State Football Class Champions, Class AA Champions for 2010. On behalf of the New York State Football Committee, this is your announcer, Gary Swalski, wishing you a safe trip home. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the state champions have been crowned from Rush Henrietta. Ashton Broiled, middle of your screen. Every bit as good as advertised, maybe better. He and Jordan Kanzeri putting on a show here in the double-A state final as they have one final handshake here in the post game. Let's take a look at our players of the game. And they are brought to you by a lot.